Hello po, mabuhay. Peace be with us po. And that's day din po sa ating lahat. Tagbabalik po ang Come and See. Isang part preparing na po sabihin po natin, Jesus, I trust in you. Okay po. We are now on the second Sunday in ordinary time. And kakatapos lang po ng ating celebration ng Christmas season. Pero sa na- mga nakaraang linggo, mapapansin po natin na parang iisa lang ang ating tema. Natagpuan. Nung kapistahan ni Maria ang ina ng Diyos, natagpuan ng mga pastol ang Panginoong Yesus. Nung nakaraang linggo, natagpuan naman po ng mga pantas ang Panginoong Yesus. Ngayon naman ay natagpuan ng mga unang disipulo si Jesus. Pakinggan po natin ang readings in Gospel for this day po. A reading from the first book of Samuel. Samuel was sleeping in the temple of the Lord where the ark of God was. The Lord called to Samuel who answered, Here I am. Samuel ran to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me. I did not call you, Eli said. Go back to sleep. So he went back to sleep. Again, the Lord called Samuel, who rose and went to Eli. Here I am, he said. You called me, but Eli answered, I did not call you, my son. Go back to sleep. At that time, Samuel was not familiar with the Lord because the Lord had not revealed anything to him as yet. The Lord called Samuel again. For the third time, getting up and going to Eli, he said, Here I am. He called me. Then Eli understood that the Lord was calling the youth. So he said to Samuel, Go to sleep. And if you are called, reply, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. When Samuel went to sleep in his place, the Lord came and revealed his presence, calling out as before, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel answered, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Samuel grew up and the Lord was with him not permitting any word of his to be without effect. The Word of the Lord A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the body is not for immorality, but for the Lord. And the Lord is for the body. God raised the Lord and will also raise us by His power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? But whoever is joined to the Lord become one spirit with Him. Avoid immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body. But the immoral person sins against his own body. Do you not know that your body is temple of the Holy Spirit within you? Whom you have from God and that you are not your own. For you have been purchased at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. The Word of the Lord A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. John was standing with two of his disciples, and as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold the Lamb of God, The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and you will see. So they went and saw where Jesus was staying. And they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first found his own brother, Simon, and told him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. 
Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. The Gospel of the Lord. Our Gospel for today is taken from St. John. And that us reflect on sumunod at matatagpuan po natin ang pagbabago. Ano-ano po ba ang mga karaniwang words ng ating mamagulang sa bahay? Huwag kalimutan uminom ng vitamins, maglinis kayo ng bahay, pagsain, ihanda nyo ang kapagkainan, ilikwit ang mga pinagkainan, maglaba, huwag kayo mag-away magkakapatid, gumalang kayo sa aming mamagulang nyo at nakakatanda sa inyo. Tumulong kayo kahit konti lang ang kakayahan nyo. Irespeto ang opinion ng kapwa. Kumuha kayo ng paraan, huwag dahilan. Have you noticed po kung ano ba ang gustong ipagawa talaga sa atin ng ating mga magulang? Ang mga utos o instructions na binibigay nila ay hindi para mahirapan tayo, kundi para ma-develop po ang ating mga kakayahan at makaharap po tayo ng may paggalang sa ating mga kapwa. Ang pagsunod po natin sa ating mga magulang ay hindi nangangahulugan na inaalila o pinapahirapan nila tayo. Gusto po nila ipakita sa atin na tayo ay may kakayahan at kaya natin harapin ang mga hamon ng buhay natin. Para sa pagdating ng panahon na tayo ay mapalayo na sa kanila, ay kaya na natin tumayo sa sarili nating mga paa at humarap sa mga taong makakasama natin at maituro ito sa ating mga kapwa. At kung sakaling tayo po ay magkaroon ng mga pamilya, ay may bahagi nyo din po ito sa inyong mga anak. Ito po marahil ang ibig iparating sa ating ng unang pagbasa. Magsalita po kayo Panginoon at makikinig ang inyong lingkod. Magsalita po kayo at makikinig kami. Magsalita po kayo at ilalapit namin sa inyo ang naliligaw ng landas. Magsalita po kayo at kami ay magbabago. Nawa po ay maging katulad tayo ni Samuel sa ating unang pagbasa na handang tumugon lagi sa tawag ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Sa ating gaspa naman po, ano po ang itinuturo sa atin? Una, sumunod kay Jesus nang walang pag-aalinlangan. Huwag po tayong magdalong isip na sumunod sa Panginoong Yesus at kahit nasa ating mga magulang. Kaya nga po sa sinabi ko po kanina, ang mga inuutos o sinasabi nila ay para din po sa ikabubuti natin. Pangalawa naman po, ipakilala ang Panginoong Yesus. Nawa ay may pakilala natin ang Panginoong Yesus sa ating mga kapatid o kapwa upang malaman nila na sila man ay may misyon at kabilang sa kanyang kaharian. At pangatlo po, magbabago. Magbabago po tayo sa mga salita ng Panginoong Yesus. Gaya ng mamagulang natin, ang salita nila ay makakapagbago sa atin, huwag lang nating kakontrahin. At ang buod po nito ay sa mga salita ng Diyos ay matatagpuan natin ang Panginoong Yesus. At tayo ay magbabago. At importante, magtiwala. Kaya natin yan. Come and see. Maniwala, magtiwala, huwag manira, at pagyamanin ang pananampalatay. O Panginoon naming Diyos, magsalita po kayo at makikinig ang inyong lingkod. Magsalita po kayo at makikinig kami. Magsalita po kayo at ilalapit namin sa inyo ang naliligaw ng landas. Magsalita po kayo at kami ay magbabago. We praise and thank you. Protect us and guide us, Lord. 
Amen. Thank you for watching, my dear brothers and sisters. Maraming salamat po at God bless po sa ating lahat.